Hi, welcome to Trailers from Hell. I'm Larry Karaszewski, and right now we're going to discuss a movie that has been suppressed for close to 40 years. A lovely teen coming-of-age story that happens to deal very realistically with how to get an abortion. Back in 1972, what was a girl supposed to do if she got in trouble? Well, she had to find a man. Right off the bat, you can see how shoddy this movie has been treated over the years. This trailer is a disaster. There seems to be a rather pathetic attempt to retitle the picture the rather lurid Sex and the Teenager. A friend of mine from school met this guy in Puerto Rico. Now she's going to have a baby, so what we need to do is to find a man. Well, you can tell your friend that I just don't happen to know where she can find a nice, friendly abortionist. This was actually a big studio film produced by Ray Stark's company and released through Columbia Pictures. But it was dumped upon release in the US and sadly never available on VHS or DVD. The movie is directed by Buzz Kulik, a master of television. He directed Brian Song, Babe, uh, Bad Ronald, the Lindbergh kidnapping case. There was nobody better in the made for TV movie genre. He was great with actors. He gets a lovely performance here from Pamela Sue Martin in her film debut. She left high school to make this picture. It's a very complex role. The character is intelligent, yet superficial. Good-natured, but not above using her beauty and charm to take advantage of a situation. I've always had a fondness for Pamela Sue Martin. Best known for the Poseidon adventure in TV's Nancy Drew. But more interesting to me is how she used her teenage stardom in some rather offbeat and unusual films, like this one, Buster and Billy, and Our Time, another 70s teen film with a pro-abortion subplot. Co-starring with her here is Darren O'Connor. He's really good, but I don't think he ever made another film. His sister was a big teenage actress at the time, Glynis O'Connor. She starred in a very sweet movie called Jeremy about young lovers that actually reminds me quite a bit of To Find a Man. They both look at teenage sex not as some aberration or some excuse for TNA, but as a natural part of growing up. The screenwriter of To Find a Man is Arnold Schulman. He has a lot of good credits over the decades. He wrote Coppola's Tucker, the HBO film and the band played on, the movie version of Goodbye Columbus. He goes all the way back to Wild is the Wind. And the supporting cast is terrific. Solid turns by Lloyd Bridges, Miles Chapin, and especially Tom Yule as the abortionist. Don't let this awful trailer scare you away. Here is a film worthy of rediscovery. I love you, Rosalind. 